Do you want to know how to get the best quality settings for your YouTube videos? If yes, then stay to learn how. So first, before we start exporting, there are a few other things you need to know before you start exporting. First, you need to know in which resolution and frame rate your video was recorded. You need to know this so you know what type of sequence you need to make. So you need to make a sequence and edit your video in the same resolution and the same frame rate your video was recorded in. So let's say that you have a video in 1080p and 24 frames per second. So the best thing to do is to create a sequence and edit your video in the same resolution in the same frame rate. And also at the end to export your videos in that same resolution and frame rate. Yes, you can record your video in 1080p and edit it in 1080p and then export your video in 4K. But you're not going to get a better quality. You're just going to resize your video in a bigger resolution. This is good in only one situation which I'm going to explain at the end of this video. Also, you can record your videos in 4K and then export them in 1080p, but what's the point in that? You can just go and record your videos in 1080p and that's it. So the best thing to do is to record, edit and export your videos in the same resolution and the same frame rate. After you record your video, edit your video, now it's time to export your video. But before you start exporting, there is a one other step you need to do. Always select the whole video before you export or just the part that you want to export. Let's say that you have some other clips at the end of the video but you don't want them to be exported, you just select your part that you want to export. Uh, many people are making mistake with this because they are not selecting their video before they export their video and at the end they end up with a really long video and at the end they have a really long length of just uh, black screen. So always make sure that you select the part that you want to export. After you select it, go to File, Export and then Media. And then this window will pop up. Uh, now we have a 1080p video in 24 frames per second. You can see that here under source. You can click here on match sequence settings and that will do it for you. But I don't recommend it. So let's begin with our best quality settings. Format always choose H264. It's the best quality for video you can get. Under preset you can choose a template preset. Let's say uh, this one YouTube 1080p Full HD and that will automatically make all the settings for you. And if you're a beginner this should work well for you. But if you want the best quality we need to create our own settings so let's continue. If you click here, you can choose the name of your project and where you want to save your project. So type, let's say, export settings and I will choose desktop and I will click save. Always check these two boxes, export video and export audio. Now go to basic video settings. Because you chose match high bitrate, you have automatically have these settings here and you can change it by clicking on the checkbox, just uncheck it. You can do that for the frame rate as well. Field order, always leave it on progressive. Aspect, if it's something other than square pixels, make it square pixels. Always use square pixels for any kind of video unless you have some anamorphic lens. And at the end, always check the box for render at maximum depth. Now go down to encoding settings. Now uncheck this profile and always choose high. For the level, choose 5.2, I think it's enough for a good quality video. But be careful, if you have a basic video settings all unchecked and you change encoding settings to high and 5.2, it can change your basic video settings into something bigger, because Premiere thinks that uh, the quality is for a bigger resolution video. So let me show you. Uncheck them and then make the profile high and put something above 5.2 and you can see that everything changes here. So always have these boxes checked and then change the encoding settings. If you want to bring them back, just click here on match source and everything will be back. Now go down to bitrate settings, which is the most important part of the export. This is where the quality is made. So bitrate recording, we have three options. CBR, VBR 1 pass and VBR 2 pass. Now what's the difference be between CBR and VBR? CBR is constant bitrate and VBR is variable bitrate. For videos I don't recommend CBR so choose VBR. But which VBR? 1 pass or 2 pass? Now if you want a quick export and you are in a rush, 
just choose webr one pass this will go through the video and does one pass of your sequence and export it as it is for the best quality choose webr two pass this will go two passes through your sequence in the first pass is analyzing your sequence and in the second pass actually executes the compression so if you have a lot of quick changes or changes in the light uh, it will make everything much smoother now the sliders target bitrate and maximum bitrate Put the slider all the way to the right and of course you have the best quality possible. But the file size will be also really big. But there is no need to go above what your camera can record. My camera can go up to 60 megabits per second but there are some other things as well that you need to consider. The most important thing is the YouTube compression. So no matter how high you put your bitrate, YouTube will compress your video and the video will lose the quality. You can type YouTube encoder settings and you can see all the bitrates for different resolutions. For SDR 1080p, 8 megabits per second is enough for a 24 FPS video. And for the HDR 10 megabits per second is enough for a 24 FPS. If you choose a preset, YouTube 1080p Full HD, they suggest a VBR one pass with a bitrate of 16, which is one above the maximum recommended. But I recommend you to choose VBR two pass and make the target bitrate 16 and that should work great. For 4K, you can go higher. You can uh, check that on uh, YouTube encoder settings and you can go higher with that. Now here comes the part that I wanted to explain. If you're a new YouTuber with no subscribers and no much views, uh, no matter how good of a quality video you export, if your video is in 1080p, your video will look bad when you upload it to YouTube because of the coded compression. I have a video made for that. You can go and check it out so you understand everything better. And at the end, check the box for use maximum render quality and click export. And you're done. I hope that this video was helpful for you and if it was, click like and click that subscribe button uh, so you don't miss any of my new videos and I will see you in my next video. Peace!